All right, guys, here we go. We are still at 2.2 trillion, a little higher, obviously. Bitcoin dominance steadily dropping. Keep an eye on that. That's why all these other altcoins are starting to rage. XRP is at $1.58, still a bargain in my opinion. Not financial advice. You do what you want to do. Do your own research, people. Enough of that. We're going to talk about Kava, which is another DeFi platform that I use. Um, you can generate awesome passive income. It's really not all that complicated, but um, I wanted to just go over it so everybody kind of understood. I know some of you have heard me talk about it. So here we go. Watch the video. Earn more with your digital assets using Kava. Kava is a decentralized bank run by hundreds of organizations across the world. Unlike centralized banks that take profits for themselves, the open, decentralized bank of Kava passes the profits back to you, the user. Kava helps you earn more with your digital assets by giving you new ways to earn interest on your crypto, by providing you extra capital when you need it, and by giving you rewards when you contribute to the Kava platform. This is enabled by Kava's revolutionary open source technology that creates an open decentralized network capable of delivering financial services globally to anyone, anytime, and anywhere. All of this is operated collectively by thousands of people, businesses, and institutions around the world, each of whom hold Kava, the token responsible for security, governance, and representing ownership of Kava. Kava is truly run by the people that use it. When users, developers, or financial institutions use Kava, they are rewarded by the platform with valuable Kava tokens, giving them ownership and a voice in its ongoing evolution of new features and services. Any financial service or application can integrate with Kava's open platform. Services that use crypto assets can integrate Kava to offer their users Kava's financial services like loans, stable coins, and high yield interest accounts. As a growing world of users, applications, and financial services use the Kava platform, Kava tokens are consumed by the protocol at a faster rate, becoming more scarce over time. Powered by revolutionary technology and owned by its users, Kava's decentralized bank has the potential to revolutionize the finance industry by removing the middlemen, unnecessary fees, and giving users the ability to earn more with their digital assets. Kava is putting financial power back into the hands of the people. So yeah, that's what Kava is and that's what we do. Um, we'll do a little quick overview here just so they're their website here. They are trusted by a lot of financial institutes. Their uh, Binance is putting them in the back end. So is Kraken. They're partnered with Ripple, Chainlink. I mean, these are all pretty big names. Um, these are some examples of some of the stuff they're able to do. Uh, and this just tells you, you know, you can supply assets to lending pools and earn interest with token rewards. You can access loans of stable coins and other cryptos to increase leverage or take a short position. You can put assets to work and earn interest passively. They have an exchange thing. They have a smart uh, investing thing and a quick uh, chain link price reference. It's pretty fast. These are some of the people they're partnered with. Binance, Kraken, Huobi, Chainlink, Ripple, BitMax. I mean, those are all pretty well-known names. Tr Gate, Trust Wallet, Swipes Big. So yeah, that's it. They have um, a high yield side, which is kind of confusing when I first came on the website. I didn't really, I had to go on to the uh, forums today. That actually brings me back to the story I was telling you guys some about. Because when I, I was able to get BNB on here, because they require XRP BEP2, which is hard for us to get in the States. You got to go through a lot of hoops, so I didn't want to do it that way, but. BNB is what I ended up getting on because I had it left over from the whole 100x spore extravaganza that didn't pan out. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, let me just get rid of one of these. So you start off, you connect your wallet. And for the purpose of this video, I will be using a trust wallet. So you would open your trust wallet app. You would click on settings and then wallet connect. And then that brings up your camera and you just let your phone look at it. It's already on my screen. Connect and boom, we're good to go. So we are now connected to the Kava platform. So we will go to load, back to Trust Wallet. I'm going to load the Max because that's what I have available. It will ask me to sign for the transaction on my phone, which is pretty cool. So I hit OK. Then you just wait for the funds to get where they're going.
Looks like the funds have made it there. Transaction confirmed. That easy. So now that is here. Um, obviously, this is going to fluctuate like it does sitting anywhere that it is. So you could come over to the Kava side. Let's say you want to generate some Kava tokens. Um, to do that, I believe you have to lock your BNB. Maybe you go through it this way. I, I honestly have never done this. Yeah, so here's what you would do. You pick how much you want to lock and then how much you want to borrow. And the safe max is, I think this is done in a way so you don't um, put your leverage too far because they will liquidate your assets if it, if it comes to that. Like if your outstanding loan becomes greater than what your collateral is, they will absorb your tokens. It is something to be aware of. You don't want to put a million dollars on here and then take out a million dollar loan. It's a bad idea. Um, back to the story on the forums. This is what got me stuck. I was trying to figure out how to get Kava on here and I can't even find anywhere to buy it. And they informed me that all I had to do was pull the slider and each thing is free. So it was embarrassing. It was funny. About 12,000 people got to laugh at it. So, so yeah, we could borrow that. And it looks like the borrow APY is only half a percentage. Um, when it's locked, I'm not sure how that works. So let's do this. For the purpose of it, we have 0.72. So we will just do... This is just so I can see this point. What is that? Three, six. We'll just do point three, six. All right. Close enough. Whoa. Zero point three, six. Safe max says I could borrow 81. So let's just do that just to see what happens. We're going to borrow. It's back on my phone. You have to stay connected with your trust wall this whole time, guys. So it looks like... Okay, so we have that portion locked. We have this, and I believe what will happen is this will slowly generate Kava, and I, I believe it's a once a week thing. I saw a schedule on here somewhere earlier, but I'm not sure where that is now. Anyway, so we'll go over to the hard protocol side where we will now supply BNB here. And again, okay, let's see. And we're not gonna borrow anything here. Okay, I see it. This works more like one chain. Sorry, guys. I've never done this. This is my first time doing it, too. So I'm trying to figure some of it out. Sign on the phone. Confirming. This looks like after you have supplied liquidity, you can then borrow based upon what you have supplied, which is very much like the uh, one chain platform that I've showed you guys before. Transaction done. So we have supplied that shows you your net APY and then when you borrow whatever that APY is it will go against this to my uh, to my knowledge anyway that's how it normally works so that is supplied we did borrow USDX from over there oh you can also look at your balances so it looks like we borrowed $63 worth of USDX or $64. Our BNB is pretty much tapped out. So now we'll go back over here and let's just go ahead and supply all the USDX that we did. Now we're getting 43% AP. Look at that. Bring your fees on. Totally feeless for the most part over here, which I think is really interesting. Signing in my wallet. So now that is done. So now I'm getting a net APY combined between all these things of 20.61 on my money, guys. So I guess for the purposes of this video, you guys saw what I loaded on. You see where it is now. 
We're going to come back. Oh, look. Looks like it's starting to accumulate slowly there now. We're going to come back in a week or so, and we're going to revisit this, and we're going to see what happens. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If any of you guys haven't already and you get a chance, I'm trying to get rid of this non-compete so I can go back to work. I'm a photographer. The whole thing's stupid. I'll include the link if anybody's interested. They can read it. And, uh, any signatures and any contributions monetary-wise are very helpful, too. They don't come to us. They just go to like an advertisement fee basically to get this in front of people and with each uh, level that we go up you're more likely to be featured in the recommendations thing so we're trying to cover some ground we got a long way to go thanks for listening guys